Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. This week I'm going to be working on gift card holders for my son's teachers. Now, um, when they were younger, I used to volunteer at their school, like the elementary school level, so I kind of knew the teachers on a more personal level, but, um, you know, most of them I don't know, so I'm going to be making generic type gift card holders, except for this one, because this is Jordan's math teacher. Um, from last year which also did some tutoring for him this year so he's kind of a young kid he's like 26 uh, and both of my boys call him a hipster so <laughs> I just happened to find these little embellishments it's from um, basic gray and I'm gonna use this on the gift card holder now this is a silhouette cut and um, I've been having problems with my silhouette with the print and cut feature it just isn't lining up properly but for just regular cuts it's working and I liked this particular gift card holder design. So I'm going to be using this one and here's all the pieces. It cuts this and it also cuts this and then this has a little perforated that's going to pop up on the gift card holder and then it has like the pocket cover and a little tag and it says I love geeks and then it comes with this little heart. So I'm going to pass on using the heart and I'm going to pass on the I Love the Geek, but I am going to be using all the other pieces. Okay, now I'm going to stop here a minute. I actually cut it out in a different color. This is going to be like my template, and I'm going to start a file with my silhouette cuts so that um, I know what all the pieces are instead of pulling it up on the virtual mat and going, what the heck is all this? So that's just my preference of doing it. So here's what I did. I went ahead and I cut this piece out in this really cool mustardy brown color. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the pocket part that's going to pop up. And then I cut this layer here in blue. And then this I cut in a pattern paper, which you probably recognize that if you've seen my other videos. And then I have this and this. So I think I probably end up using the white one because that's going to fade in. Okay, so that's good. That's fine. And how easy is this going to be to put together? All right, I could even use my glue. It's right here. And uh, the way I cut this is, uh, the size I cut this is just their default that's on the mat. And all the pieces cut out on one mat. Okay, I think I'm going to use my glue. All right change of plans. I think that one's actually empty. There we go. And um, the mustardy brown colored paper, paper is something I got at uh, Michael's. So it's not, it's not um, basil or die cuts with a view. It's like one of those, you know how they have the racks in there and you can buy the singles. That's that's where I got this paper. All right, so I'm thinking on this one, I should probably use my score tape just to make extra sure that it's gonna stay down. Now I'll tell you what, guys. My bank has what's called a uh, rewards and all the craft stuff that I buy online, I always use my credit card so that it adds up and it gets applied, the, the, the total amount gets applied towards um, this reward system. So towards, you know, the, the middle of the school year, I don't think that's going to go like that. Not sure. If, oh, maybe that gets folded down. Gosh, did I ever lose train of thought there? Um, so what I do is I use the reward system to get, you can get, pre, uh, you know, pretty much anything really that they have to offer on there, but I use it to get gift cards and I don't have to pay for it. Well, ultimately I do because I'm putting everything on my charge card, but they're, they're free. And I got, uh, seven $25 gift cards just for being part of that rewards card. Now what I try to do is I try not to, you know, like leave a high balance on my credit card because, you know, <laughs> you add up the 
the interest. You actually aren't getting those gift cards for free. But that's my plan, and it works. Okay, so that's going to be all folded in. I'm going to put that on. So check into that if you have a reward system for your bank. I'm going to put that down here because I'm going to put that little tag thing up there. Trying to make it even. This guy's sticking out a little bit. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh. And it pops up. Oh, you know, I just thought, wonder if I'll be able to put this in an envelope. I'll have to make a special envelope for it. And it does not look straight to me. Well, I guess it is. It's a little bit too far over to the left. I can pull this up without ripping the paper. Nope. Okay. I'm going to have to be happy with it. Yeah, so I have to go onto my Silhouette Library and see what other gift card holders. If you guys have found any that you like, well, that would be good for teachers, too. He's got um, three male teachers and three female teachers. You can recommend those for me. Okay, now do I want to do it like that and fold it over? No, I don't like that. I'm going to fold that in. And how funny that that's a little bit bigger than what the actual card is. I mean the actual pocket because I didn't cut it any bigger. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. Who knows? My silhouette has a mind of its own. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Hero Arts Thank You. And that'll fit on there fine. And maybe I'll put some of these that look like a flower. I want it to be a flower. That's for a man. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way across. And so, so it's going to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Use this scrap paper here. And I'm using my Heidi Swap Archival Ink here. I see it's got little notches here too that I could have put Brad's, but I wasn't planning on that. Okay, that looks cute. Set that aside. So he gets it right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's going to go right there. And looking for my foam dots. Okay, I'll use these. I got these at the 99 cent store. It comes in a roll of these squares. Um, but it fell out of the original packaging. And then I have to put my little hipster embellishments on the pocket as well. Definitely the little glasses. I'm definitely going to put the little glasses because he wears black red glasses like that. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so there. And these little twisty things. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm looking at that holes in there. I don't like those holes. I wonder why they did that. I don't think they're supposed to actually stay in there. That'd be kind of weird, right? I don't know. I'm going to leave it in there because I don't like the holes. Hmm. Okay. 
I guess you can't be 100% satisfied all the time, right? Yeah, that's not going to work. All right. I have to take it off. My dog is about to bark because my trash man is here. If she doesn't, I'm going to be really surprised. Okay, he's not. You know what? He's a music guy, too. Let's go ahead and put the music notes on him, too. His favorite band, and this is showing his age. If any of you have heard of the band, um, I actually like him. Um, I'm like much older than him. Why do I keep trying to use that glue? It's all gone. Um, his favorite band is Daft Punk. So I, it's not like one of my favorite bands, but it's, they're pretty cool. Okay. Put that there. I think I'll put that one right there. No, we put it right here. <laughs> okay, and then I got an arrow and a star. I think I'm going to be putting on too much. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. All right, so that's one gift card down and five to go. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next gift card. Have a great day.